Welcome back folks to the Via Pinstriping page. Um, today we're going to be doing another simple pinstriping design. If you are new to the page, please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much again for watching these videos. Today we're going to be using uh, one shot violet mixed up with a little bit of Kansas City teal because that's what I had on the previous videos. And I messed up so I erased it. <laughs> Um, Kafka number one, piece of glass practice board, and um, this is going to be a two color design, so please bear with me when I switch the colors. This is still drying from when I wiped it off. All right, so let's uh, continue. Um, we're going to start off by doing a very uh, long oval shape, so starting in the middle. Going downward and crossing past the middle and ending a little bit past the middle. And you're going to want to mirror this on the other side, so start in the middle. Make sure you're going out the same distance, crossing right in the middle and stopping right where the other one stops. Now. We're going to do a very long C curve, but it's not going to be very deep, so it's not going to go super curved. Uh, it's going to be a slight curve, but it is a curve. So starting there, running near the middle, but not touching the middle, and stopping at one of the grid lines, whichever one you prefer. Once again, same thing, mirror it on this side. Now being right-handed, I always, um, my first lines that I'm gonna do are usually the hardest ones, which would be on the, on the left side, and then whatever's on the right side, I do secondary. Um, it's just, it's, you always wanna do the harder ones, First, whatever's hardest for you doing either side, do the harder one first. That way uh, you're not trying to match what you did with your easy side. All right, so now I'm gonna do basically just mirror this. I'm gonna do kind of an oval. So start here, cross in the middle, go out and end right in the middle. Same thing on this side, push down, cross in the middle, make sure you try to go out the same distance and meet right in the middle. And there you have it, a very nice uh, kind of a two-sided deal. And we're going to add the other color, so I'm just going to squeegee out some paint here with this uh, piece of shot towel. I have some uh, dark magenta, which hopefully stands out. And I'm just gonna pallet in some of that. And what you just heard was the cat jumping on the back of my chair. So if you have a cat, I suggest you put him in another room if you can. <laughs> I love him. He's a pain in the butt sometimes. All right. So we're going to do this with a cat on the back of the chair. Let's do it. So we're going to do a C-curve. A little bit more exaggerated. And it's going to end just a little bit above this uh, meeting point here. Again, try to match the same distance and gap. If you like, you know, try to use these meeting points as focal points so it kind of goes down, down. And right there. <clears throat> All right. 
So now what I'm going to do is meet these in the middle. So we're going to start here, go out just a little bit, down, and then meet up in the middle. Same thing over here, out just a little bit, down, and then meet up in the middle. If they're a little offset, you can always go over it. Kind of make it a little smoother. Now I'm gonna palletize, palette my brush some. I actually don't know if to call it palletizing or palleting, but I'm going to load the brush and make sure that my paint is the correct consistency. What consistency, you may ask? This consistency. It's kind of hard to explain. You gotta just do it. So, we're gonna run a line parallel here with this one and stop at that line. Same thing over here. Crossing right in the middle. Running parallel. Stop right there. We're going to go inward and inward. And then we'll just do a nice point. Just some straight lines going in towards the middle and ending. Maybe throw a teardrop in the middle over everything just to kind of tie in the center top part there. And that's it folks. Another simple pinstriping design. Uh, this time it was a two color deal. Um, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'm gonna try to keep knocking these out as often as I can. Um, at the moment I got a little bit of free time so uh, I'm doing what I can for y'all and I appreciate you watching everything and I hope you have a good day. Alright, take care.